The Cypeed Mike's Dock, a less than $20 AI kit for edge computing, compatible with MicroPython. Thanks to Seed Studio that sent me the kit for evaluation. I put a link to the store in the description below. The M1W Dock suit that I received is composed of the Mike's board with Wi Fi, a 2.4 inch LCD screen, an OV2 NT640 camera, two pin headers for the GPIOs a Wi-Fi antenna, and a USB 3 adapter. The board embeds a powerful Kendrite K210 TPU. The K210 is a system-on-chip that integrates machine vision and machine hearing with a dual-core 64-bit RISC-V processor at 28 nanometer and 8 megabyte of SRAM. Enough with the talking, let's set this kit up. We won't be plugging the Wi-Fi antenna yet. Instead, we're going to plug the camera into the DVP connector and the LCD display in the MCU connector. We plug the USB adapter. Be sure to plug it all the way in as you might have trouble connecting to the serial otherwise. Then we just use a power bank for the first boot. You plug it and the screen is welcoming to the Max PY environment. The Mike's board supports MicroPython and is OpenMV compatible. It supports TinyYolo, MobileNet v1, and TensorFlow Lite. The documentation is somewhat complete. You can find everything on mikespy.sip.com, even though the English might need some improvements. The instructions will guide you to the first setting up and power on, and that is exactly what we're gonna do now. After that we have plugged the Mike's board to the computer, we can browse to the device manager and verify that we have a connection. If you don't see anything here, verify that your USB connector is plugged all the way in. Then we open PuDDY on serial, setting up the COM port and the baud rate. And here is the connection established. Sometimes the window will start off completely empty, just hit enter a couple of time or control C, and here you are in MicroPython. In MicroPython, we can type commands and operations like 5 plus 6 or hello Tiziano. Let's write a simple script from one example. Here we just want to display the video from the camera on the LCD. We import the libraries and initialize the LCD. Then we set the pixel format as RGB565, that means 5 bits for red and blue and 6 bits for green. The video resolution is set in QVGA. And then in the while loop, we take a snapshot and we show it on screen. It's that simple. And here we go. Can you see my hand over here? Now that we got the hang of it, let's have a look at the IDE. First, we update the firmware using the KFlash tool. You can download the GUI from the Flash GUI repository on GitHub and install it. Then we download the latest firmware update together with an already trained model for YOLO and we use the KFlash for updating the microchip. Now that we have the latest firmware, we can download the development environment from the dlcip.com. You can find a link in the description below. The Mike's PY is OpenMV compatible, so the IDE comes straight from the OpenMV project. Once you have installed the tool, you simply connect with the board and load an Hello World project and hit play. Hello World! We can download lots of example scripts from the SciPed repository. If you clone the scripts in the folder documents slash MikesPY, you can find them directly in the documents folder of the file menu. Let's load the face recognition example and hit play. This board can recognize and track me and my hairy friend at more than 15 frames per second. Not bad at all. Let's modify the face recognition in the IDE, printing the actual frame rate. Here we define a clock object from the library time and we calculate the FPS every time an object is detected. Then we display it on screen. The board can track me at 12-13 frames per second when connected to the IDE, but it can run much faster when it runs independently. In fact, let's make the face recognition example to be run at boot. We select Tools and then 
save script to board boot py that we disconnect and we power on the mic's dock. And here I am detected at more than 15 frames per second at QVGA resolution. Not bad. In conclusion, the mic stock from Cypeed is an incredible $20 machine learning kit. It's easy to program thanks to MicroPython and there is a growing community in supporting the project. There are also plenty of other accessories like the stereo camera or the microphone array. Thanks again Seed Studio for the board. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.